And I'm here with Phoebe Newworth, and you are a huge animal lover. You're like me. I have two shelter cats. Yeah. Mine actually didn't make it to the shelter. You even have a better shelter, better than shelter story. Well, one of them is a rescue, but one of them was, um, there's, I think there's a colony of feral cats living on Rikers Island, and I think the matriarch is a, is a Siamese because they all are Siamese mixes. And somebody, people every once in a while go out there and they rescue them and they bring them in. And there's a pet shop somewhere in the village where they deposit these rescued cats from Rikers Island. And um, this is this is Violet. <laughs> She's <laughs> like if a Siamese was a calico, this is like a calico Siamese. And then I got Bobby for her. And Bobby, she needed to have a cat because she's feral. So she's not, you know, she was sort of, you know, walking around me like this. And then, so she, but she's Siamese, and they're very, very social, Siamese. So she wanted to be near me, and I could tell she was uncomfortable. So I thought, I have to find a, another cat for her. That would make her very comfortable. As it turned out, a friend of mine who saves, you know, his apartment is filled with saved animals, the super of his building found a cardboard box with three baby, I mean, two-week-old uh, kittens. They had just opened their eyes, and he saved them, and he, they all survived. He nursed them all through their baby kittenhood, and um, so I have Bobby, and he's a little, a little black one, and he is completely comfortable with people, and he sort of bridges the gap. He lets her know that these people are okay, or these people are not okay. You know, he has to see what you're like first, and then he goes up to you, and Violet, Violet is the Siamese calico, she hides. <laughs> Nervous. No, she just won't. You'll be lucky if you see her. She comes out for you? She comes out for me, yes. They sleep with you? No, I I know. I, I won't get any sleep if they sleep with me. Bobby likes to jump over me in the middle of the night. He likes to just you know, do the BB hurdles. <laughs> jump back and forth. <laughs> Tell me, you know, how you feel when you're away from them. Oh, yeah, you miss the, you miss the little, their little feet. <laughs> I start to get an offer of a job on the phone, and I, I'm just waiting to hear, is it in town, is it out of town? Because that's the first thing I think of, and it can be really hard. Tell us what is your pet style. Well, I, I think I probably take my cue from them. You know, I, I can't really impose anything on them. If they feel like playing, well, then it's time to play. And if they don't feel like playing, then I don't want to impose that on them. But if they, you know, and if they get up in my lap, I say thank you, and I, I pet them. And, Violet still the feral woman. She will not get in my lap. She'll get, she'll get right up next to me. <laughs> She's trying to break that barrier so bad. Cannot, she can't make that final step of getting on me. But I think it's important to respect, you know, your animals and, and what they want or need at that time. And last question, why do you think a shelter like this in Soho that's very hip and beautiful is such a wonderful idea? I can't even answer that. It's sort of a no-brainer. It's, it's, it's absolutely perfect. It's exactly right.